What if I just fell off this way, climbing over the bar? The first time I did the fall, I was just standing with my back facing the bag, and all I had to do was just fall backwards. Ah! It's something that looks really simple, and then when you get up there to do it, it's... Your, your body just doesn't want to do it. Uh, on that one, your hips actually broke. Felt, yeah. Yeah. Then you can't bend in half. I bent in half once. It hurt. I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, okay. I hit my butt first. I definitely thought the bag was closer than what it was. I thought I was going to hit a lot sooner. And when I didn't hit right away, I was like, ah! and then I hit. And I was like, okay. Comic-Con is this. People are passionate about the stories that they love. Uh, like this guy right here. Uh, I like, by the way, that your name is just Steve on his badge. I don't know how he got that, but um, it's kind of obvious. What are you? I'm an Ewok from the forest moon of Endor. Fantastic. Um, I've also been told that you have a little dance for us. I do. It's called the Yub Nub. Can we see it? It's a traditional Ewok dance. And All right. Can I do it with you? Here we go. Everyone doing this? I am here with Romeo, the official vocal coach to the artists, and uh, the producers of this show found out that uh, I used to sing back in the day, so they've decided to throw me into my own coaching with Romeo to see how he works. We get a little behind the scenes action here. Okay, sweet. So Four lines, you... I can do it. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> America, America. My approach and my technique to coaching is pretty unorthodox but I get results. On the... I'm thinking the right words, right? You are. If I'm not, I'm sorry. When I was working with the contestants, preparing them for the blind audition, every singer that would sing, I was taking notes. Like, if they make it through, what is it that I need to work on for them? So you're getting it done. You're getting it. Kind of. You, you, <laughs> you were 54. Apparently. Could, apparently, yeah. and Attack of the Show. Could you tell people what Attack of the Show, G4, what it is, like what? Okay. What do you do there? <laughs> I have to do this a lot, even to my friends and families. I have to convince them that I'm, that I'm actually on TV. <laughs> a lot of them don't believe that. They think, they're like, is it an internet show? I'm like, no, we, we have a channel. We're, yeah. we're like 145 on Time Warner or something like that. But G4 is the uh, basically like the video game and tech network. If you're a geek, you watch G4. Like my, so it's my network. Exactly, which is why we love people like you. Thank you. <laughs> whatever, yeah. 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 Whatever, whatever. You, not so much. You might be watching Spike or something like that. <laughs> that's cool. I'm down but, with that. Uh, Attack of the Show is a one-hour live show that's on every day, and we talk about everything that's relevant mm -hmm. in geek pop culture. So be it, you know, the fact that uh, Wolverine's coming out nice, May yeah. 1st, or uh, if, like, there's a new car that comes out, I get to test drive it, or things like that. 